Hey guys, today we're taking a request from a viewer named Ryan. Thanks for the idea, Ryan. Had a lot of fun building this lure and this mold. If you are on my mailing list, you would have already received the STL files for this mold so you could print it yourself. If you're not on my mailing list, there's a link below to how to join. He asked for a panfish lure. He sent me some photos and some overall dimensions and wanted a mold for it. So. I decided it'd be a good chance to show you guys how to do multi-cavity molds in a 3D printer. Most of the time I make molds are single cavity just because it's a whole heck of a lot easier to deal with and you don't have a lot of size on a 3D printer to do multi-cavities of like a large five inch swim bait for example. But this lure is tiny. It's an inch and three quarters in overall length. Let's go into fusion. So you'll see the main body has these kind of rib section and an easy way to do that is with a torus and then you take that torus and you make a pattern along the path. So I make my initial torus, I get it, I think the right size. Then I draw a path, which is the overall length of the body, which in this case is three quarters of an inch. And I just make a pattern along that path and make sure that all the torus, toruses, tori, connect and that's pretty much my body. So you can see I end up with a hole in the middle. I just make a circle and extrude that circle through the main body, join the bodies together and that fills that in and also leaves me a little bit of extra body in the front that I can make my sprue for. So the back legs are pretty simple. I draw a single arc here use the pipe command to extrude it out, add a sphere on the end. I'm just kind of spitballing sizes at this point, right? But obviously you want the sphere bigger than the, the legs. Right? Then it's a simple matter of drawing another line and mirroring that leg to the other side so they're absolutely perfectly even. And then we're pretty much done with the master. Now let's talk about building the molds. So the first thing I did was try to build one giant mold with all the, the cavities on one side. This seemed like a great idea until I popped it into my slicer and noticed it was going to take an incredibly long time to print. At this point, if you spot the incredibly stupid mistake I made, leave a comment below. But being an idiot, I decided to print it anyways. So the problem with long prints when it comes to molds is not necessarily the length of time it takes, but the amount of resin it takes and the amount of times you have to refill. So I started printing this thing during the day, refilled the, the resin a few times, gave it one final fill before I went to bed, which I thought was enough, and it turned out to be not enough at all. So I ended up with this wonderful mold here that is missing basically the top quarter of it. All right, so that mold was a complete failure. Now, I could have printed it again and got better results if I would have sat there and babysat it, but I decided I didn't really want to wait 19 hours and a redesign was in order. So I just pop into Fusion and pull that timeline slider back to where I had my original masters, all five of them, but I hadn't constructed the mold yet. I simply reposition the masters to be kind of side by side and slightly offset, rebuild my mold box, put my sprue hole in there, and away I go. This mold only took nine hours to print and it came out pretty perfectly. I have a little bit of a uh, pull away on the bottom here, but it's still gonna shoot. And speaking of shooting, let's see how they came out. I decided to shoot some chartreuse and some red, and I did a little bit of a laminate here on a few on the legs. They came out absolutely perfect. I can't wait to go fishing with them. Right now today it's raining, so I'm gonna have to save that for another video. But I hope this gives you some good ideas on how to do multi-cavity molds with a 3D printer. It's pretty straightforward, but you wanna keep your lure size down. If you're interested in a full detailed rundown on mold making and lure design in Fusion 360, I have a playlist right here that'll fill you totally in. When I go fishing with this lures, that video will be right here. All right guys, get that lure out of your head and onto your line. 